Uh, welcome to another episode of Juliet Goes Travelling and Riding Her Bike Everywhere. So today I'm in the Dolomites. Uh, I've come out here as a guest of Pirelli because they are launching their new cycling tyres. They used to make cycling tyres back in the day but then they stopped focus more on cars, motorsports, that kind of thing. So they're launching the new P0 tyre. I haven't actually seen it but I've just handed my bike over to the mechanics who are fitting them as we speak. So I'm going to go and check those out in a moment and then we're all going cycling today. Pirelli have invited some of the past winners of the Maratona to come on a ride with us. So I think it's going to be pretty fast. We're going to climb up a mountain of course because we are in the beautiful Dolomites. I'm also here to ride the Maratona which is one of the most amazing sportives. It takes place uh, in and around this area of Badia and it's sort of fiendishly hilly. I think the long ride, the overall amount of climbing is something silly like 4,600 metres. So pretty insane. So here it is, the P0 Velo. Um, this one has got fairly minimal tread, you can see that there. Uh, weighs in at 210 grams. Um, and this is one of three Pirelli tyres they're releasing. Uh, there's a race version, this all-round version, and then a kind of winter version. Um, first lesson of the day, do stuff yourself. I handed my bike over to have new tyres fitted, and it's come back without uh, any of the gears working. So, yeah, I mean, literally not shifting at all, at all across the back block. So I'm like, dude, um... So fingers crossed we get it sorted because my bike is very fussy, only like SRAM cables in its uh, housing, otherwise it makes the gears not work. So I'm hoping it's not a snap cable because I don't have a spare. We'll see. Aspetta, ci ha dato sganciare il fitto. Però il fricchettino è ripartito. Eh no, ma la fricchettino... Price is averted, it's all fixed and Cinderella will get to go to the ball. Now we're just fighting about tyre pressure. Pirelli dude says 75, I say 90, and I'm riding it. <laughs> so all these people have been invited by Pirelli to come here, try out the tyres. They've all got the tyres on their bikes, Pirelli jerseys, and all we've got to do is go for a ride, so that's easy. Off we go. So first, we have a six kilometre climb from Corvara. Yeah, Corvara. Nice descent, then another climb, then lunch. Ciao! Look at Barbara's shoes. <laughs> so cool. do Paso di Valparole now but everyone's got all psyched out by the merest drop of rain so for some reason we're not going up there we're going back down to town weird just bumped into the guys from GCN as well uh, they're testing out flat pedals versus clipless uh, I'd hazard a guess that clipless will win <laughs> anyway we're gonna head back down have some lunch Reluctantly, I might say. I'd rather ride up another mountain. So beautiful here. Done a nice ride and now it's lunch. Everyone's being very polite and not going over there to help themselves. So I might have to dive on in. Hungry cyclists and all that. Well, that was fun, if a little too short. Uh, yesterday, I just kept climbing to the top of the mountain and it started raining and I descended in the rain and I, that was fine, no problem. But, because it was quite a big group today, I think the guys from Pirelli just kind of didn't want to do that. So, we ended up turning around and then going for lunch. So, I don't think I rode enough today. Might go to the gym and the hotel later. But uh, right now, we're gonna go and pick up our numbers for the Maratona. So, I'm gonna head down to the village where they have a lot of brands exhibiting and we'll find out what's going on on Sunday. 
I got a real big bag of swag when I signed on for the Maratona. I think there's a jersey, gilet, there's a bottle of Prosecco in there. But right now at the Rider Village, there's all sorts of stands, so I'm gonna go and have a look around. Uh, there's a Pirelli stand, obviously, and um, I need to speak to the guys at Garmin because I've lost a little bolt from my mount, which is annoying. So I'm just gonna have a li little look around and then chill for the rest of the day. It's a hard life. at Garmin hook me up with a new mount. Thanks dudes! Hiya! So today's a rest stroke recovery day. Um, yesterday's ride wasn't too major but then I went to the gym did a bunch of stuff so my thighs kind of hurt. I'm just going to go on a really easy recovery ride today, spin my legs out and prepare for the ride tomorrow. So tomorrow um, you set off in waves and I'm in the first wave, which means that I need to get to the start line at 5.30 in the morning. And the main thing that's concerning me, apart from the lack of sleep, is I have no idea what to wear. And not as in, you know, oh damn, outfit choice, as in, it's gonna be really, really cold at 6 a.m. and it's possibly gonna rain a little bit as well. So I'm gonna be standing around waiting for my uh, group to go at 6.30, getting extremely, extremely cold. Well, the answer to that is obviously to wear quite a lot of layers, but anything I wear, I have to cart around the whole ride with me tomorrow. And there's an awful lot of climbing, so if I layer up too much, I'm just going to really, really sweat on the climbs. Take too little, though, and I'm just going to freeze and have a horrible time, so dilemma. The route of the Maratona is hilly to say the least. Um, the medium route, I think, is 100 kilometres and it's got something in the region of 3,200 metres of climbing, which is kind of crazy because actually the most I've ever climbed in a ride is 2,600 metres in about 110 kilometres and that was in Gran Canaria and it wasn't easy. So that's the medium one, but the hard route is about 130 kilometres and it's got 4,600 metres of climbing, I think. I'll have to check that. So you're pretty much always climbing or descending. The descending I like, the climbing, well, I'm a lot better at climbing than I used to be, but I wouldn't say it's one of my strengths. So yeah, that's why it's hard to know what to wear because you're gonna be getting pretty hot on all those climbs, but then it's very cold in the mountains when you're descending. I mean, if you're not generating some of your own heat, then you get cold pretty quickly. I mean, yesterday, my fingers went numb descending, so we'll see. But uh, the main hurdle is getting up at 4.30 in the morning. E so today is a recovery ride, but all my friends have just gone off up the road. It's really hard to not just go with them. I'm trying to chill. <laughs> Spin my legs out. It's pretty crazy how many cyclists there are here. Swarms and swarms and swarms of them. And they've all had the same idea to come up this pass and spin their legs out before tomorrow. Anyway, it's lovely. Uh, I can't wait for tomorrow because then there won't be any cars on the road, which would be even better. Too. So we're gonna grab a drink and then we're gonna descend. All I've got to do for the rest of the day is relax. to get prepped. Uh, this one goes on my bike, that one goes on my back. I've got a hell of a load of snacks that I'm packing uh, and I'm going to get all my clothes ready and laid out so that it's all super easy for me in the morning. Morning. It's 5am. I'm so tired. Look everyone's already queuing up down there and I'm not even ready. <laughs> I better hurry up. I still don't know what to wear. I've checked three different um, forecasts and they all say rain, but then the Italian guys all say that it's not going to. 
Uh, so I don't know whether to take my Sturm Prince, which is an amazingly waterproof jacket, but it's quite big, so after every climb, I'm gonna have to stop, repack it properly, put it in my pocket. Or do I take the lightweight jacket that's super stuffable, but not as waterproof? Hmm. Look at these guys. They're wearing like overalls that they're gonna ditch at the start. Very smart. I'm just gonna freeze. Ciao. <laughs> in a pen and didn't freeze my tits off and we've done the first climb of the day which is about six kilometers sorry wonky helmet look at that every time anyway done the first climb which is 6k already bumped into a friend hi <laughs> so just trying to take it easy enjoy ourselves and not blow our legs out just yet <laughs> <laughs> we've just done the second climb i think it's called cordoy so we've done about a thousand meters of climbing in 22k and we're loving it descent time now most amazing scenery ever <laughs> I love it having the best 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 time seriously we've climbed um, let me have a look we've now climbed 1548 meters we've done 40k and yeah it's amazing you're either going up or down and both of which I'm enjoying a lot Another pass ticked off. I have to say, loving it so much. Woohoo! <laughs> it's quite different to a UK sportive where everyone stops and eats loads of food. Here, everyone just grabs something and goes, and everyone wants to get a good time. It's kind of like a race, whereas in the UK, if you do a sportive, it's kind of not meant to be a race. But yeah, so. I'm stopping and eating, so who knows what time I'm going to get. just want to have fun. Sorry. really hard after 88 kilometers. I'm going so slow 
these guys are basically walking at the same speed. <laughs> but I'm getting up here. Epic. Did the horrible climb and look at the reward. It is so beautiful up here. And now we get to descend. God, I love it. Yes. Spesel. Hello. Hello. Good year, Frau. Bring it. Good. Yeah, it's the first time for years. Yeah, I can't just stay. I've had a bit of a disaster. Uh, I can't change gear at all in the rear cassette. So I can only change the front from the big chain ring to the little chain ring. So I just literally can't do any climbing unless I get it sorted, but I just found some guys who are doing some mechanics. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed. I'm nearly at the end. Someone else getting some help. Luca is the man so as long as it doesn't happen again I've got 30k left to go and then I'm at the end stoked I had to wait around for a really long time so I'm gonna get a rubbish time in the overall but whatever I think this is the last proper climb of the day after this there's just Mur del Jat or something which is some crazy steep short one which reaches 19%. So that's gonna hurt. But I'm just so stoked that I got my bike fixed. I've had this dude sat on my wheel for 10 kilometers. Not once has he come through. Cheers. Hi. Gracias. Gracias. <laughs> Made it! Last that you came were pretty tough. So I wanted to try and salvage some time. Um, but I loved it. What an amazing event. Uh, bummer about the mechanical, but yeah. I'm gonna have a look at see, see what my Strava time is rather than see what my time is on the finishing thing. Because then that'll be more a true time of what I actually did, you know, minus the mechanical. <laughs>